The US Navy is the biggest in the world with some 290 ships, thousands of aircraft and tens of thousands of small boats. And apart from a few nuclear-powered carriers and submarines, all of them need fuel, which they can get from either fuel ships or from bases dotted around the world. The system is costly and time-consuming, so they've come up with a solution, one that could be the holy grail of any global task force around the world, the ability to transform seawater into fuel. What's even better is that it doesn't require any modification of the ship's engines and works by extracting carbon dioxide from seawater while simultaneously producing hydrogen and then converting the gases into a hydrocarbon liquid fuel. Chief of Naval Research Rear Admiral Matthew Clondor recently spoke on the game-changing fuel technology. I don't use the word game-changer too often, but when you take the reality that we've already done it, so first of all, we've done it, small amounts uh, where we take, we break up seawater into carbon and hydrogen, then through a catalytic conversion process, we're able to liquefy that into fuel. We've flown it. We've flown it on small kind of air, small UAV type model aircraft. Now we just need to scale it. Testing out the technology for the first time, the Navy successfully used the new fuel from seawater process to power a radio-controlled scale model replica of a World War II aircraft, and the plane was able to take off and fly without a hitch. Whilst the Navy is optimistic about this new technology, it is still quite costly. But projections are that the new fueling system could be commercially viable in less than 10 years, producing jet fuel that costs 10 to 15 rand a litre. And when it comes to sustainability, well, it doesn't get much better than using seawater to power our machines, provided we, of course, don't run out of seawater. Well, it is good to see new technologies being implemented to protect our environment. And in fact, if you want to find out about more progressive technologies that are being used for sustainability, don't miss out on the Sustainability Week exhibition that is now currently taking place at the CSIR ICC in Pretoria. And it carries on until the, the 19th of June, of course, and it is uh, open to the public for you to go and check out what you can do to conserve energy. We are, of course, facing a huge energy crisis.